Hi, everybody. Good morning to all of you. It's a long time. So today morning, we are going to see this particular question that was asked uh, very recently for your examination. Some people think that schools should select students according to their academic abilities while others believe that it is better to have students with different abilities studying together. Discuss both views and state your opinion. Now, what can we do here? We have a discussion question. We have argument number one. The argument number one says that schools should select students, should uh, uh, enroll students based on their academic abilities. The second view says that it is not good. Uh, people or, or students, uh, those who have uh, um, different abilities should study together. Now, I need to say, um, a decision, which argument um, you favor or do you argument both? Or do you uh, do you agree to both? So your personal opinion is asked at the end after discussion. So you need to have a, a discussion on this uh, argument number one and argument number two. So let's go with the, the introduction here. In the first part of the introduction, we have said, uh, we have restated what we have uh, in the question. So we have a, a topic and the topic is uh, extracted very carefully here. And this is a topic. Classification of the students according to their academic abilities. And this is the core, this is the core topic in the question. So argument is based on this particular topic. So first of all, in a discussion question, we need to identify the argument. Argument is to be identified. And we have said the argument is like this. Some people think this is true and others think that it should, they, they should be different. It's false or something like that. So the second sentence is the argument. The first sentence is a topic. The second sentence is the argument there. And the third sentence is your opinion, what you're going to write in the essay. Although the segregation of students produces some visible positive outcomes, I tend to align with the second view. So what is the second view? Different students of different abilities, they have to study together. So this is the second view. So why the second view is preferred by this writer is explained in the coming body paragraph. So how they will explain this thing in the coming body paragraph, they will be telling you what are the benefits of the first view and why you think the second view is superior to the first view. So this is the plan, I repeat. What is my plan? My plan is to present the advantages of the first view and how the second view is better than the first view is there in the second paragraph. So this is what my plan is. You can see this thing together, the body paragraph together so that you'd be getting a better idea there. So let's see the, with the first particular paragraph where we have discussed the former. The former group thinks when students are classified based on their academic abilities, the most significant advantage it provides is the better results. So it is the better results what we need, what we have. Is, to be clearer, it would be convenient for teachers to deliver the classes to a group of students who have the same wavelength. This is explained how it can produce better results. It's convenient for teachers 
to deliver to a class of same wavelength, students of same wavelength. And students, when they get these things, they can absorb this thing more effectively without much distraction and can enhance the overall performance. A strong sense of competition is a classical feature here. That's another thing here. So here, uh, you know, that it, how it provides better results. The teachers will be efficient, the students will be efficient, and a strong sense of competition is there. And even though this is a negative intention, ultimately this is uh, a boost towards the performance of a student. So we have completed the first particular paragraph. And why, what is the thing that we are going to do in the second paragraph is, is why is this better than the first option? On the other hand, opposing groups, opposing group points that the segregation students based on their academic performance would evoke negative influence among majority of the students. So majority of the students, it evoked negative influence. To be precise, when such a classification takes place, a sense of inferiority complex is created in the minds of the majority of the students. Uh, I have used two majority. Okay. Who do not fall in the best performing. Okay. So you can say that most students don't fall in the best performing group. So only a minority of the people will be falling in the best performing group. So if you go with a hundred percentage, 20 will be good performers. Now the 80 percentage will not be, they'll be either average performing performers or, or below average performers. So majority of them will be our average performers and a very few will be. <coughs> <coughs> below average performance. <coughs> Excuse me. And this would make the situation worse. What would make the situation worse? When you classify the students, they feel a cause of, they feel a sense of inferiority comes. <coughs> Sorry. There are incidents of dropouts and delinquencies. You have some serious problems like this. Dropouts, they stop the studies. They do have delinquencies. So these are the impacts of this thing. The society is diverse and the school students should be grown up in a similar situation of their better future for their, for the better future there. You can see the society, society is not, uh, it's, it, it does not consist of a very similar group of people. We have different people from different social backgrounds, people from uh, different economic backgrounds, religious backgrounds cultural backgrounds. So we have uh, to live in this particular society. So schools should also provide a similar environment for the students. This is what the second paragraph says. So it makes it stronger than the first. And let's go for the conclusion. After Analyzing both views, those selecting students on the basis of performance purchase positive results, especially in the case of overall performance. I think it's impractical as it has some serious drawbacks for students and the society. That's it. 
So it has some serious drawbacks for students and the society. We are not mentioned the serious drawbacks to the society. The serious drawbacks, dropouts, delinquencies, all these things to the society also it it has negative it, it, it poses negative threats so that's what we have discussed in this particular essay so when we go the word count we can see the word count is 299 so it's well inside the margin thank you